Hey guys, it's Reenactment Day here, and we're back in the hole. We have our fake guns right here. We have an ammo box that Brick just picked up. Original World War II 50 caliber ammo box with 30-06 casings in it. So, uh, I we, shouldn't leave that open. Alright, <laughs> we'll it. just leave it open. The trench has acquired some more mushrooms for some reason. Get them out of there. And I, well, first of all, sandbag emplacements holding up fine. I have acquired a record player with some original records. And this one on, you might recognize from one of my old previous intros. I'm gonna just turn this on and play it right now. Hopefully it plays all the way through. The needles are old and are breaking. Or, you know, wearing out. So that's that. I have more needles on the way, brand new needles. Yeah, a lot of these are worn down needles, also probably 70 year old needles. What's that? That's that. YouTube, please don't copyright me. It's a record and a 75 year old song. Actually, more like 80. Just put credits in the description. Yeah, as you hear, needles. A bit funky right now. That's one of the records I do have in this thing. And um, let me just put this back in the paper sleeve. That's my good record. I got that one off of eBay. And this one I found it on an antique, uh, antique store. Yeah, antique store. And um, it's World War One. So hopefully this one doesn't skip too bad. At least for a little bit. All these records have played their whole length without skipping, so it is definitely the needle. So, yeah. We got records, we got the trench, we got ammo boxes, and of course us in uniform. It was raining earlier today. Luckily it stopped so I can bring this thing out. And what's nice is this thing can also play while closed. Not really, actually. Usually it does, but this paper's catching it. But yeah, you can make the uh, record sound a little bit funny. You can just start it up like that. You can just... Speed it up, slow it down back to the correct speed, but it's fun. Let me just focus, there we go. It's fun. I got a lot of records, most of them are post-war, when I got the record player. This is an original 1940s record player. It is probably World War II dated. It's the, definitely the World War II style of record player. Here's the company right there. Now, YouTube, don't copyright me on this. This one's over 100 years old, so it's not breaking any copyright laws. At least it shouldn't be. It shouldn't. And if it does, why? So, that's pretty much it right now. This is the trench. If we do anything else interesting, I will let you know. Now, what's nice about this record player is I'm going to go over this again in the Gear of Collect video, but it has a little rack up here for... Record storage. Do you mind just kind of opening the bag? Makes things easier. There yeah. we go. There you are. There we go. Excellent. A little bag. You take the handle on the side, you screw it the opposite way, which in turn unscrews the handle. It goes onto a rack up here and locks on. And then you just close it. Latch it. 
And there you go. You got a portable little record player. I say little, but this thing's pretty big. It is, in fact, like 30, 40 pounds. <laughs> eh, probably like 15. It's heavy. As well. It's heavy. But, you know, oh, back, in, back then, how you made something portable is you just slapped a handle on that thing and it was portable. If it wasn't, you know, massive and there was a handle on it, it was portable. Oh, yeah. Like, even the... I don't think we showed them that yet, but... Switchboard that you got, World War One switchboard. Yeah, that thing. That thing has has a strap on it to be carried. Had a strap on it to be yeah, carried. It uh, doesn't it was, exist anymore. Literally, there was only a chunk of it on there when we and bought it. And when we touched it, it quite literally disintegrated. <laughs> We're not kidding. It literally disintegrated. Like, but the, there was straight to powder in our hands. <laughs> there was about this much of it left. It just evaporated. And then it's got two carry handles. It is about sixty pounds. It is nice though. Okay, off to do more trench things with background music. And you may remember that. Another mushroom. Plants for camouflage. And this bottle that exists. It's talking with people, they think it might be a 1920s, 1930s. It's either a 1930s or 1920s Heinz ketchup bottle. But it shattered, so that's fine. Trench is still in decent shape. It's in better shape because since we fixed it up. And here it is, the rifle position. Rifle and machine gun position. Machine gun hopefully eventually. Yeah, we'll probably just make a wooden one. And there's that. Aiming at literally nothing. It is nice to have some background music in the trench with a record player. It does have a distinctive sound. We also have ordered Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition off eBay. Why take Kaiser? My K Kaiser, the good version. So that should be in eventually. And we also ordered a couple other things from What Price Glory, but that will be a surprise for a video. I got some German stuff from at the front. He did, because it was on sale. And uh, my German impression will probably make it to the trench as soon as that stuff comes up. If I don't shoot him first. Well, this is my trench, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We had to switch the needles on the record player to the quieter needle. But at least it works better. Because it works better. There are <laughs> to change the volume on record players, really, it's just the needle. A thick needle is loud, and a low one like that is, a, you know, quieter. As you see, it's very, very nice. I am really happy that I was able to get this record player, so that was nice. Good addition, bring it to reenactment, set it up at camp. Just have music playing in the back. So that will be very, very nice. And then, right now, since it rained, I have my original World War II... Pancho! In the... I thought it might rain again, so we both got those in our gas mask bags. Just in case, because it wasn't nice. It said it was sunny, but it was downpouring out. Luckily, the trench is in the shade, mostly. So the trees stopped it. Stopped the water a lot, so it's not flooded. It was pretty wet, though. <laughs> it's still pretty wet. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Got that on camera, too. Yep. The world is going to remember that group. And that's, <laughs> that's staying in. But yeah. Trench. Alright, that's going to be it for just pretty much trench. We did add a couple more sandbags right there, as you can see. They're the lighter colored ones because those ones about been out for a while. They're also wet. But yeah, a couple new things. Sandbags. Trench. 
is slowly improving. So, we are done for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.